Hey guys, thanks for checking us out. Today we're going to go through installing a second view two outside on a, another breaker panel. So when I installed my first one, I found that I didn't have any of the breakers for my AC units. And I went through, traced out the wires, went looking for them, and come to find out, I have the street feeds coming in, and then there's a box panel right next to it, and then both street feeds, because I have two street feeds coming in, and that panel, one of the feeds actually has a small breaker panel in it that has four phase one and phase two and it has six breakers in there, two for each AC unit. So today we're going to go in, install that view two in there and start pulling power monitoring from that unit itself. Don't do this if you're not a licensed electrician. It is very dangerous. We don't want anyone to get hurt. All right guys, we're out here at my main breaker panel. And as you can see, we got our three AC units sitting over there and so what I figured out hindsight is that these three units which I really want to get power from are actually connected not via sub panel but almost like a pass through panel so if I open up the customer side of this we can see we have our two main power disconnects with the two phases coming in on each side and this 150 disconnect has the mains coming in and then it's got the wires coming out and then it goes down inside the house here. Okay, and then our second panel has two phases coming in. And then it's got 150 right here. And that 150 with the two phases coming in connects into the bus bar with our three breakers for dual breakers for our AC units. So we have 240s, 240s, and 225s. And that guy then comes down here on the bottom and connects to two phases and connects here and goes into the house here and that's what goes into another panel in the house. So in order to monitor this, we've actually got to pull power out here on a second Emporia View 2. So I'm going to go ahead and connect it all up. Do not do this. Do not play around with it if you're not a licensed electrician. This is high voltage and you could easily kill yourself or do some real damage. All right guys, so we got everything wired up. I actually already linked up the Emporia. And so as mentioned, so we're only going through our one main breaker because that's what's feeding this bus. The other main breaker goes down into the house and feeds another panel. So just this breaker and we have phase one on the left and phase two and can't, it's harder to see here, but we do have the K through L and the arrow is pointing towards the breakers. So I have positive voltage on both of them. Just trying to be real careful up in here. All right, and then now we have sensors on all the feeds right now. And again, this is, I'm gonna verify the feed draw is the same between both of them. And then later on, I can come back out, take out the second sensor on the dual breaker. So we only have one of these instead of two and then I'll go into the app and double the usage. And then down here we have the phases plugged into our Emporia View 2, the sensors on the top, and the power coming in. We have the black and the red on two different phases, and our grounds there in the back. And then I've punched a hole for our Wi-Fi to come down through here on the bottom. And it's picking up signal just fine from out here. So, so like I said, I got it registered in the app, we'll close this up, and then we'll go in and start labeling the circuits and see what these AC units are pulling. If you're not a licensed electrician, don't, don't do this. Wait for someone else or hire somebody to go do it that's licensed and can take care of this for you. We don't want anyone getting hurt. Here we go, we got the app back open and we are looking at panel three, which is the one I just put in. It's not registering anything as of yet. So we'll go in here and we'll go to settings and household info utility rate. We're going to change our panel three to nine cents. All right, and you don't use any decimal point or anything, you just put in the cents. Save that. We're going to go back, back, and now we're going to go manage devices because we want to put some names on the sensors that we put out there. I'm going to go to panel 3, and I don't know which AC is which yet, so we'll look at the power usage and I'll update the names later. For right now, we'll just go, what I did is I put 
the first breaker or a monitor on the first breaker for each AC unit as one, two, three, and then I, because I'm going to go back and remove the other sensors, assuming that the there is equal usage between the two sensors, I used four, five, six. So on circuit one, this is AC one, and then one for the first phase. And let's see. air conditioner. Missed it. And save. Then we have AC 2 phase 1 and air conditioner. Save. Then we have AC 3 and air conditioner, save, and then we have phase two for all these guys. So we have AC one, phase two, air conditioner, save, and AC two, phase two, save, and we have AC three, two, and the air conditioner. So then we'll save that. So then what I'll have to do, I guess we can go back and look at power and see maybe if it's registering anything, hopefully. Uh, still don't have anything, but it did take you know, 15 minutes or so last time and it hadn't been that long. And then what I'll have to do is actually turn the ACs on one at a time maybe let them run for 15 minutes or so and see which one is actually drawing power and then I can determine name them whether it's the upstairs main floor or basement so we'll see how it goes and actually I'm on week so let's look at second maybe it has here we go change it to second we already can see that one AC is registering so okay so we figured out which is which by turning one on at a time and unfortunately it looks like I'm going to have to go back outside and look at the panel because if you notice AC1-2 that's down at the bottom is not registering any power but AC1-1 is. So one phase, one sensor is picking up data but 1-2 is not and they should both be picking up data. Maybe it's not plugged in all the way, maybe it's not sitting on the right so I'm going to have to go back out there. And this is why I always say Test it out and make sure it's working before you put everything away because now I'm going to have to go open up the whole power panel again and see what's going on. Back up and we're looking at it and sure enough you can see that that one sensor and I had to double check that is the right sensor is not plugged in all the way. So we'll plug it in all the way and then see if we can register some data. Alright, so we can now see that the sensor is responding correctly and updating in the app. It was just not plugged in all the way. I've got everything back in and we've named everything. So the only thing you know, I had to do additional for this panel itself in the app was update the sense, the kilowatt hour, and just name them all and everything was already good. Of course I had to discover it there right at the beginning and add it, but that's the same way you do the first one which is covered in the initial video. So I do have another Emporia View 2 coming for the second panel and we'll monitor that. And if you're interested and you like some of these videos, subscribe and you'll see some of the updates I put in there as far as using two sensors on a dual breaker for like the AC unit, taking one off, what the monitors tell us and things like that. All right, and there you have it. So now we have our power monitoring for our AC units, most of our main breakers in one panel and now we're just going to let it sit for a few weeks and see what things come up with and how they end up calculating power. On the dual breakers, if that power is equal, then we'll go back in, take out the second breaker, and double up the usage from the one monitor. If you want to check that out, subscribe. I'll be doing that later on, including some more 
looking at some more data from the app itself, and I hope you find this useful. Thanks.